Hello and welcome to the 39th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at references. A reference variable is an alias that is another name for an already existing variable. It's basically, it's not a variable in itself. It doesn't hold its own unique data. Once a reference is initialized with a variable, either the variable name or the reference name may be used to refer to this variable. So what is the benefit of this in my thing? If I can just have a variable, let's say called i, and let's say I have a reference called x which just refers to y and if I make a change to y it obviously affects i if I make a change to x it affects i one benefit of this is if you call a function when you call a function and you pass in a value for, and or pass in a variable any change is made to that variable is actually a local copy so the original variable isn't affected but you could use a reference or something called a pointer which we'll be covering in the next part of this series which will allow you to affect the original value that's one of the many benefits of a reference so let's just go ahead and show you how to use references it's like this literally is really 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 easy so what you what you gonna wanna do is create a variable I'm gonna call it i so in the value 22 it and then we're gonna create a reference and to create a reference you put the ampersand then the name of your reference, so P, you assign it a variable that you want it to refer to, so I. So if we do std colon colon c out, do I, and then we do std colon colon and line, run this, it prints out the value 20. But if we were to do P equals 9, now run this, it prints out the value 9. And it prints out the value 9 because, like we said, P is then a variable in itself. It's actually a alias that refers to the variable called i, and any change made to p affect i. That's it for this part. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. In the next part of this series, we'll be looking at pointers. All the recordings for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.